hey guys chances are if you clicked on this video you're single and you're probably hating every second of your life so I'm gonna tell you why you shouldn't so keep on watching <laughs> I'm 18 years old and I have not been single since I was like 12 like I'm like I'm literally not kidding um not because I'm a hoe but because I was with the same guy forever so understand for me like when I was first single it was like really really weird for me but now that I have been single for three months I realized that it's actually not so bad and so I'm going to tell you a few different reasons why Um, this is kind of personal, but for me, like, I, within those years that I was, like, with somebody, I, there was a point where I really, really did not like myself. <laughs> and there's the expression, like, oh, you can't love someone else if you don't love yourself, which, like, I can understand, but at the same time, I don't think that's true because I loved my ex with everything I had, <laughs> but I feel like I did, it wasn't, it wasn't, as healthy as it, as it could have been because I did not love myself. In the relationship, like, I put all my love into him. And so when I was alone, I was like, whoa, like, I still have all this love there because I don't know. I don't know. I just have, like, a big heart, I guess. So I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this? Like, I don't have, I can't give my love to him. I can't give it to someone else, like, right now. And so I had to take that love and I had to put it into myself, which was really strange for me, as sad as that sounds. I feel like, though, it was very necessary. I feel like self-love is the best kind of love. If, like, if I was not single, like, if I was still dating him, I don't know if I would have figured that out, like, figured out that love for myself. So I feel like it was kind of, like, important anyway. There's one. <laughs> We have all, no matter like who it is, whether it's like a friend or a family member or someone you're in a relationship with, you always say like, oh, I can't live without this person. But when you're alone and yourself is all you have, you realize that you actually can live without that person. You just don't want to. You're not relying on anyone. It's literally just yourself. But you learn how to like survive and like do everything on your own. <laughs> that sounds weird, but like, it's, it's true, like you realize that you literally do not need anybody. And I think that that's pretty awesome, so there's that. <laughs> In most relationships, I feel like you should grow with the person, like together, and you'll figure out stuff about yourself, and so will they. But um, for me, I guess that was one fault in my like past relationship. Like no matter what it was, I suppressed a lot. And that's another thing that I, f I think that I was not single, like I wouldn't have figured out myself and like who I am as a person exactly. Like I knew who I was, but there's just certain things that you will figure out when you're alone. Whether it's like your passions or your interests or even like a change in your sexuality or something, like literally anything. Like, being alone teaches you a lot, and it's pretty cool. This sounds kind of obvious, but it's what you get from meeting those other people that really, it teaches you something. I'm not talking about like starting a new relationship or anything, but like even just making new friends or like talking to other people, you, you really, it helps you figure out what you want. We're not even trying to, but a lot of the time, like our subconscious, like it takes you compare everyone that you meet to that last person that you were with or even like the person before that if you have multiple people I don't know <laughs> you could meet somebody else and you realize like how much you were missing in your past relationship like wow like my ex never did this for me or never made me feel like this and so it shows you like that you were in the wrong relationship and like that you deserve better than what you had or, or, it can show you the opposite, which is like, wow, like, this is nothing compared to my last relationship. Like, my ex was so much better. That also, not only can that, like, help you figure out what you want, but it figure, like, it helps to figure out, like, if you would ever, like, get back with that person and stuff. Like, it's, I don't know, it's so cool to me, like, what you can learn through other people. Don't get me wrong, like I miss being in a relationship so much, but being single is okay. I have known a ton of people in my life who it's like, they get, when they just get fresh out of a relationship and they're like, oh my God, like I can't handle this. Like I need to like find someone else. I feel like those people have the most issues with themselves and that they should be spending the most time on themselves. But people like that, anyway, my point is, I don't think you need to go like looking for love 
like and looking for someone else to like fulfill like your need for that or whatever but just focus on yourself and I feel like after like you master that completely and are happy with who you are and stuff that like the right person will come along and everything will fall into place I don't know <laughs> I'm, that's just me trying to have a positive view on it just create the best self that you can be for the next person so like that can limit a lot of problems that you'll have in your next relationship like if you find happiness within yourself but also not just for not just like preparing yourself and like making the best you you can be for someone else but for yourself is the most important thing like it really it really is important and I don't know if like everyone realizes this but um that was it that was my little rant I hope this helped your single life if you're single <laughs> I hope you stay happy thank you for watching and if you want any more like kind of advice or like little points or guides to something hit me up in the comments I usually always answer so don't be afraid. Anyways, <laughs> thanks for watching. I love you so much, and I'll see you guys next week with a new video. <laughs> okay, thanks for existing. Ah. Of falling in love just to have it not work out. I'm sick of seeing so many failed marriages and broken families. I'm sick of seeing people tell others with uncommon goals that their goals are unrealistic.